everyone welcome to this fun full face look I'm starting off with the face primer that I am rubbing all over my face before I groom my eyebrows I have a full tutorial on my eyebrows um, that you can view if you want it to be in a slower version but basically I'm just using a brow powder to fill in and shape my brows I'm not using a brow pencil because I ran out I'm just using a thin angled brush to outline and fill in my brows with um, brow powder before I go in and use a spoolie to comb the product and the hairs and then grab my concealer in which I use Studio Fix in NC50 and one of Max flat brushes to clean that outside of my brows and repeat the same on your other brow and make sure you blend in the concealer with your finger so that you don't have a weird funky highlight on the outside of your eyebrows. Now I'm putting on my foundation. Sometimes I do this last, sometimes I do this first. It really just depends on the makeup that I'm wearing. The eye makeup I'm wearing, I should say. But I use Studio Fix Fluid and a beauty blender or sometimes I use a painter's brush to apply the foundation evenly all over my face. Now on to my eyes. I have prepped them with Urban Decay's Primer Potion in Eden and rubbed the product in with my finger and all the areas that I'm going to be working on. And I used my face powder directly underneath my eyebrows so that you can't see the texture of the cream foundation, I mean the cream concealer I used to clean my brows. Now I'm placing cappuccino right underneath that color for transition purposes, as well as this brown shade from Morphe Brushes 35W palette. This is one of my favorite transition colors. I love, love the red undertone. And make sure you blend that in really, really well with a blending brush. More so in the outer crease and then gently swiping into the center. Um, next, I use Raven from Motives Maven's Element Color Box. Um, I put this in the outer V portion of my eye. I place the product there and then I use another blending brush to blend the transition in between the brown and the black. And now it's time for the lid color. I use NYX Milk Jumbo Pencil as a base. Make sure you apply this evenly because if you don't, the color that you place over it will not be even. I stopped once I got to the black and I cleaned up whatever got into the crease with a clean blending brush before I went over it with about, I don't know how many layers of this slate teal color by Frankie Rose. I really wanted the color to be bold so I placed probably about four or five layers of this color over the white trying to make sure that the color looked even throughout and then blending it into the black. Once I got all my layers on, I went in reverse with the steps to intensify the other colors and making sure all the transitions were nice and smooth. Before I started to work color on my lash line, I decided to go ahead and highlight and contour so I can get right up on my eyelash line with my highlight color. I have a full video of my whole routine using actually the same exact products um, on my channel. So if you want to see this video in slow-mo with all the products listed that I used in this video, um, go check out my highlighting and contouring video. Next, I used that same slate teal color on the inner corners of my eye. I didn't put white underneath it because it's such a small area, it really wasn't needed. And I used that same brown shade on my lash line and applied that with the um, smudging brush. 
and I used Very Black Gel Liner Pencil by LA Girl Cosmetics. I love this pencil on my waterline. I smudged it out a little bit with the smudging brush. And um, I will tell you that after I filmed this, I ended up adding more black shadow to my lash line because I thought it balanced out the look better. So the final, final photo is on my Instagram page if you want to see what it looked like with more black. Um, I use Little Black Dress as my top liner. I didn't get to film applying my lashes because my battery ran out and I had to let it charge a bit. Um, but after that, I used Eye Candy Cosmetic Experiment Glitter on the inner corners of my lash line. Um, this is their brush. I love using their brush with their um, liquid sugar. It's best for their glitters. And a heavy coat of mascara to my bottom lashes and a little bit on top just to blend in my natural lashes with my falsies. Next, I use Format Blush by MAC on my contour line. Um, I like this color over my contour sometimes when I don't use a blush. I use medium coral to highlight and it also played the role of my blush as well. It's a nice little coral color that I use above my cheeks with a contour brush. And last but not least is my gloss, which is Salmon by Whitening Lightning. I love this gloss. This was my first time using it and I fell in love. I didn't know if this color was gonna look great on me, but it actually plays off really nice on my skin tone. Check my description box for a discount code if you love this gloss as much as I do. And um, I went over my um, brows with the brow gel because my hairs are a little long and I can't find my brow scissors. Woe is me. And finish off with your favorite finishing setting spray. I used Motives 10 Years Younger, let it dry, and I was ready to go. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And check out my final photo on Instagram at Ellery. You can also find swatches and more on my blog, MissEllery.com. Until next time, mwah!